Yeah, we got a. Um, I'm proud of the way they played at the end of the game. They keep fighting. I mean, they're they're very invested. We could play better early. You know, I think at times we just we're just you know once again we're leaving too many guys on. But the positive is we get that we get the guy in from third in the ninth and or in the tenth. So hopefully as we keep playing, um, that usually kind of runs out and guys start getting hits. It's not hard. You just got to put a ball in play usually, but. It's been a struggle for us over the last probably 10 days. So a big, a big night for Lane, too. And not just hitting the baseball, but good situational baseball yeah. for him tonight. Really good. So probably his best night offensively in our program. When, when a team needs something to happen and a guy like Lane provides it, can that kind of be a spark plug for the next couple of games? Well, I think so. I think we're looking for that for a couple guys to get hot. You know, we just haven't had many guys hot. So maybe getting him hot gets that back side of that lineup. And it's nice because Cam and, and RJ and Luke had a lot of opportunities to drive in runs tonight if we can get some production there at the back. You get Lane on third base in that ninth, in that tenth inning. Or was the plan for you and uh, Coach Gotro was to tell the guys to get the ball in the air there? Well, we're trying to, especially off that guy because he was throwing breaking ball. So Go was just telling him to push it up. And, um, you know, you're worried you got first and third there. You don't want to hit to a double play either. So you're trying to push him up. I was at the start of the year of kind of Tanner and Lane going back and forth there in the starting lineup. What did you see from Lane, maybe even in those games where he was watching from the bench to kind of stay the course and, you know, understanding that, that it's a long season and this moment will come at some point? Well, it's tough. I mean, it's, it was tough on both of them. Still tough on both of them, you know. Um, but they both pretty they handled it about as mature as you could. And, and I know it bothered them. I know it was tough. Um, but if you watch them, if you get here early, they warm up together. They do drill work together. They're, they're really close. It's really hard to be close with somebody like that, and then you're fighting for your job. Uh, they're very, both very mature. And, um, you know, Lane's playing really well right now. KC continuing to improve. What did you think of KC's? Yeah, I thought he was really good. Probably the key of the game, not to give up anything there in the ninth, right? Like just come in and get that and then, you know, being able to get the out and the tent and get out of it in the tenth too. So, um, you know, he's back for the most part. I feel like he's in a good spot. And, um, just couldn't, we, you know, luckily we win that game because we were, I didn't want to use any more arms. You didn't want to have to crank people up too much for Thursday night. Circumstances may you use KC like 39 pitches for like what he intended, but would he be available this week in that closing role? Oh, he would, yeah. He'd be ready Thursday night. You know, so he'd be able to, it probably wouldn't be as that much, but for an inning or two, probably. You mentioned Sunday, Slate needed to get more ABs. You get him in the lineup tonight. How do you think he performed? Kind of a Brooks Robinson type play over there outside third one time. He's a good defender. He's a really good defender. Um, for You look at him, you, you see a big kid. You don't think he's as good a defender, but he is. Um, I thought he had a really good at bat there in the middle. Like in the middle of the game, he went 0-2, came back 3-2, then got the hit up the middle. Um, still a freshman, so he goes up and gives us the bat one early, you know, and, and swings at the breaking balls. But I was happy with what he did tonight. How big was it to kind of get a couple hits from uh, Hunter today, get him going a bit? Yeah, it's nice. I mean, we need him. We need him. We need those guys to, to get going a little bit. When, when he was, you know, going through this slump, I mean, are you just kind of, did you kind of expect that from him being a freshman, you know, starting off hot, kind of cooled down a bit and, and going through, you know? No, I really games? didn't, you know, but it just got, you know, people pitched him, he's really good, and he got really hot, and everybody pitched him probably everything opposite and made it made it tough on him. And he has to adjust to what everybody else is doing. And instead of adjusting, he just tried a little harder. And uh, that's not good in this game. So it's it's when you can relax and man, hitting that ball to left field. I mean, he hadn't hit up many balls to left field lately, and I many put a really good swing on it. After a tough SEC series, how much can these midweek wins get you guys fired up for the SEC series to come? Well, it just makes practice better tomorrow. It makes you a better taste in your mouth going out there Thursday night and playing. And um, man, we got to have a good weekend. I mean, we need to go out and play good baseball for a weekend, and you know, get this past us and and, and get on the road. I mean, I, I think that's a big thing for us is just get on a roll and. Play good baseball. So Parker threw a couple innings tonight. Does that kind of leave the door open for a change in the starting rotation? On the well, Parker's not starting this weekend, but TBA is. He throws a lot of strikes. So uh, <laughs> I don't know where he's throwing, what day he's throwing, but he, he he's a good when he competes. So we'll figure it out. I don't know how we'll do the third game, but you know we're probably going to put Parker in the pen. I thought he was a lot better today. Speaking of KC, again, how key was that call strike out when they were in the bunting situation and Cokes got to forcing the bunt and call strike? Yeah, it was huge. I mean, it was because they were just taking one. They knew they wanted one more, and, um, and he didn't give it to them. He made some really good pitches in those in those sequences. Auburn's been kind of one of the hotter teams recently. What have you seen from them this season? I've seen going into the big weekend here. Then they're pitching a lot better than they did last year. They got some of the same guys, but they're pitching really well, and they got a couple really good hitters in the middle of the lineup. And they're just playing winning. They just playing winning baseball. They're not blowing people out. It's just good baseball. And that's uh, you know they'll be a tough opponent this weekend. Everybody we play lately feels like they're really good. Huh? You know we go to Arkansas, they're really good. Georgia's tenth when we go to Georgia. I mean like it's just this this league right now. We're just 
playing against good teams, and um, we got to we got to go out there and take the game on Thursday night. You've mentioned before that sometimes it seems like some of the guys are trying to do a little bit too much, but tonight it seemed like you worked the middle of the field a lot more, and it was a lot more successful play. I think it's 14 hits tonight. Yeah. Is that maybe a sign that maybe guys are getting to relax a little bit more, maybe just use more of the field? I think so. I mean, I'm hoping. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, we just, you know, once again, it's, you know, we, we're getting them on. We just got to get some big hits behind them. I mean, we, we have a chance to blow up, blow out some of these games, you know, and, and, and be able to pitch and feel comfortable. Right now, I feel like every time we're running out there, it's, you know, it's a 1-1, one, one, it's 2-2, two, two, it's we're down 3-1, you know, it's playing this game ahead is a lot funner than playing it behind. And so um, I, I think guys had some really good approaches today. Um, when you face, I think how many pitchers they throw? Eight? Nine. I mean, so I thought Coach Goat and them did a great job of having an approach for every guy that came in. And they're, that's a good team over there. They're, those guys are playing really well, came back from Florida Atlantic. and. We saw a couple of guys that were 92, 94, a guy hit 96, I think. So it's, you know, some good arms.